Lesson 10. Cutting. Finally, the last step, cutting the dough. This tool is called a komaita. It's a wooden board with a handle. Do not hold it with your fingers by the central raised part. Rather, spread your fingers wide over the whole area of the board to keep it in place. This will keep the board from shifting or rotating. Open up your hand and stretch your fingers. Do not push down because the dough will stick. Gently place your hand on the board. Now hold the cleaver tightly. If you incline the top of the cleaver, now flush with the butt of the komeita, slightly towards the board, it will push the board very slightly away, exposing the top of a very small section of folded dough. You can cut the dough as you lean the board. If the cleaver is inclined too much, however, the noodles will be as thick as udon. First though, because the very end of the folded dough is quite thick, that part will be cut away first, although it too can be eaten. The cutting is best done by holding the cleaver's blade parallel to the table and pushing the cleaver away from yourself to cut the top of the dough. It will become more awkward to cut the dough as the final, uneven part of the dough is reached, so cut very carefully. The noodles are now ready to be cooked. You can choose to eat them as hot or cold noodles. With basket-style cold noodles, the taste can be better appreciated, though hot noodles might be better on a cold winter's day. This is the end of the lesson. Thank you.